In this video, I'm gonna be reacting to beating Pokemon how Nintendo intended by Papacy. Now, Papacy is a really good friend of mine. So one, you should go subscribe. But two, oh, what was number two? I've actually watched his Nintendo intended videos, except for the most popular one. So that's what we're gonna do today. And if you like this video, hit subscribe. Make sure to go subscribe to Papacy because he's close to 100,000. Here we go. Beating Pokemon how Nintendo intended it to be. I played a lot of games as a kid, like Mario Sunshine, The Wind Waker, yep. and Sonic nope. Heroes. Nope. The one thing that all of these games had in common for me was that I never actually finished them. I would get lost or stuck at one point of the game without knowing- This was Pokemon Coliseum for me. I made it to the desert town and I couldn't find the stupid key, so I gave up on the game. 60 bucks down the drain. How to get through it. And since I was a kid and the internet was still pretty new at the time, I couldn't easily look up guys on YouTube. Yeah, we had to go to library Back classes on how to Google game, stuff. Your best bet was to buy a strategy guide. There were so many different types of these in the early 2000s. I have a story about this and I don't know why it just hit me. I had the strategy guide to Pokemon Emerald and it helped me through the game. So much so to where I had Rayquazas and I used the dupe glitch to get a billion of them so my entire team was level 71 Rayquazas. Now, I had that guide and I would still have that guide if my neighbor didn't steal it. That's right, my neighbor Spencer stole it from me. I don't know when he did, but I went over to his house and I saw it on his drawer one day and I knew he didn't own Pokemon Emerald. Why did he have a Pokemon Emerald guide? And when I asked him, hey, that's my guide, this was the first time I was knowingly gaslit. He told me that it was his and I was lying and I believed him. And to this day, I still don't have my Pokemon Emerald book. Spencer, I don't forget. Especially for Nintendo <laughs> games. I got a few of these as a kid and used them from time to time. Oh my but God. But never actually read through the whole thing. The and nostalgia. Read exactly how they wanted you to beat the game. If you don't know what a strategy guide was, since they're not really around anymore, they were basically just a guy that told you exactly how to beat the game. They, just... they would always sit at the very front of the GameStop store. Like right when you're about to pay, you'd have the guide there. So when your, your parents are paying for your game, it, maybe this is just privilege talking. You'd be like, oh, can I get the guide too so I can know how to play it? Sure. Sunny? Nobody ever called me Sunny. Just use these guides at parts I got stuck on or to find any secrets or Easter eggs within the game. That was I a Yu Gi Oh! video game? I recently saw a Minecraft video where somebody took a guide made by Mojang and used that. Papa C, that's what we like to see. Listen, creativity no longer needed. What you want to do on YouTube is find someone's idea that did really, really well and twist it to work for your content. We love it, Papa C. <laughs> to beat Minecraft exactly how they wanted you to. So in typical PokeTuber fashion, I'm going to take somebody else's idea from another game and completely spin it into Pokemon like it's original. It had a Mario I have this guide Prima books? Guide on Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, which does have the Nintendo official seal of approval, which does technically mean that Nintendo- All 40 berries listed? That was their- that was their hook? Like, sure, hard to catch Pokemon found, I get that. Maps for every area, I get that. All 40 berries? People cared about the berries? Nintendo endorses this product, and that somebody at Nintendo somewhere read through this guide and thought, yup, that's how you beat Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf uh -oh. Green on the Game Boy Advance. Oh, I no. took a quick look at this guide before making this video, and it seems to cover just about everything you need to know about these games, even from type advantages to where to catch every Pokemon. Those are the As a kid, I cut out the Jodo page artworks. that had all the berries for some reason, so unless we need to do something involved- Never mind! Doesn't have all 40 berries listed! Papa C lied to us! berries, we should be good <laughs> following this guide exactly. I'm going to try my best to avoid any prior knowledge I have on these games besides very basic type advantages and stuff like that, and I want to beat the game exactly how this guy tells us to. Now that I have access to all of the secret information Game Freak and Nintendo this is such didn't a cool want us to idea. know about Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, like how you should heal before every Elite Four battle, what? didn't know that, and how Rock and Fire are apparently super effective against Poison. I really don't think they proofread them. Are they? Yeah, no, they're not. These things at Good all. Catch, all right, Papa so let's C. just actually start up a brand new save on Pokemon Fire Red and see what the guide tells us to do. It has been so, so long since I heard that noise. Oh. 
The strategy guide is pretty straightforward Man. at the start. Name your rival. I named him Nintendo. Walk into the grass. No, and you named him Nintendo. Starter. It did tell me to pick the potion Subscribe. up in the PC at your starting house, which is helpful, and say goodbye to your that mother. That was a good catch. And it also said to pick the starter I like the most, so I picked Bulbasaur. I named it Subscribe, which you should totally do, by the way. And I True. hammered away to win my rival battle, just as the guide said. Got the parcel, caught a Pidgey, named it Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, by the way. Link is in the description. Oh my god. And headed god. to Route 22, Papacy. since it suggests. Papacy really figured out every single way to be like, bro, here's all my platforms. That I catch a Pokemon here before the optional rival battle, although it doesn't tell me that the battle is optional. I caught a Mankey and named it Hawk, and then level up my Pokemon to be between level 7 and 9, just as the guy suggests. You're supposed to level I my in rival these games? easily, <laughs> and there's really not much to be said in the Viridian Forest, but I do catch a Caterpie and name it Dan, and then head towards Pewter City. There's only one event in Pewter City, and according to the guide, it reads, What event? There is only one event in Pewter City, okay. but you can visit the nearby gym for 50 Poke Dollars. It doesn't get you anything, but it's interesting. The Pokeball what? noted on the map is invisible, so search the area for it. You won't be able to proceed to the east till you complete the gym leader battle. Wait, you get fifty so dollars from the gym? What? I found that wording to be really awkward and not really sure what it means, but I headed into the gym battle what? anyway against Brock, and the guide says to have Pokemon between levels 11 to 13, so Wait, I Wait, where's the $50? That. Subscribe and Hawk handle the gym pretty easily, although surprisingly, the guide doesn't tell me anything about type advantages. Uh, hold up, Papa C, where's the $50? ...or what types Brock's Pokemon are, so I just... Hammer away at him again, just nice. like the guide says. I don't know why Potent I keep saying offensive hammer away. Attacks. I head towards Mount Moon, and on the way, it specifically tells me not to buy the Magikarp in the Pokemon Center right outside of Mount Moon. Why? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I always buy the Magikarp. Oh, it's a tradition no. for me whenever I play a Kanto-based game. Oh, but since the guide said, said no. not to, I guess we're not going to, because apparently they're so common in Kanto. That I go through Mount Moon pretty easily, as the guide tells wow. me exactly where to go, which is pretty cool. Pick up the Dome awesome. Fossil because I prefer Chaos, and Teach Hawk Mega Punch because it's a pretty decent move and I don't really have that many other options. <laughs> now in Cerulean City, it tells me to battle Misty, and I have to level up my Pokemon to be between levels 18 and 21, so I have to do a little bit Good of grinding. Idea. If only there was a group of nearby trainers or something I could battle for faster XP, like on a route up north or something, the guy since the guy to tells later. me to battle Misty first, I'm oh. forced to grab the wild area and not head north yet. Oh, Misty's gym was pretty wow. easy since my Bulbasaur evolved to Ivysaur at this point, so that's two badges Why down already. Why does Staryu harden? The guy did mention to use grass or electric types in this gym against Misty, nice. which was a lot more helpful than the Brock fight, but I really think it would have made a lot more sense for the guy to tell me me to battle my rival first and go battle trainers up north yeah. so I can grind a little bit higher. But hey, if Nintendo you endorses get... this, they gotta know better than me, I guess. So after beating Misty, I head north. What would it be like to do a Nuzlocke how Nintendo intended? Because like, going north gives you an extra Pokemon, and you just wouldn't have that. Yo, know, Papa, see, the idea is all Nintendo, yours. Nintendo, never thought I'd ever say that sentence, but it goes pretty smoothly. My Pidgey kept getting critted again. I don't know why my Pidgey has this snack for having terrible luck. It also <laughs> got poisoned three for three times in the Verdian Forest, but Ivysaur <laughs> was able to clean up. I was a little scared of this Abra, but thanks to the handy-dandy guide, I looked up Abra's level up moveset, and it apparently, only has it has no moves to hit Ivysaur, so that oh. was pretty easy. Charmander well, was the same. It was level 18 and didn't even evolve yet. What's up with that, Nintendo? Why so I beat the rival evolve? anyway, and now I have to head I towards they did. Route 24. Route 24 was easy enough. I go help Bill and get the SSN ticket, just as the guide says. Do you think Bill was the first furry? I head towards Vermilion City, and the game has a lot of events for us to do in the city. First, we have to get the like, VS Seeker from this trainer of the Pokemon Center. That's we'll a probably thing? probably never even use it. Get the old rods so we can catch our own magic carp we want to now, but we still probably won't ever use this. I, and pick up the bike voucher so we can get the bike. For I knew the bike. Man, I really don't read when I play these games. I mean, wow. In City. And then we have the most important Pff, event I of this area, this. the SS Ant. The guide suggests that all my Pokemon be around level 20 for the rival fight, and since they are, I just go straight to the rival battle, ignoring most of the shit. I ignore Although all the, the shit, Although the guide warns me about Nintendo's powered-up Kadabra, since it is quite fast. It tells me just to be faster than the Kadabra <laughs> if I want to beat it. Wish just, I thought just of that get myself. Faster, bro. Thanks, Nintendo. I beat my rival pretty easily, <laughs> but get the HM. Dude, I, I don't know. I'm I'm just barely catching them, but Papa C is probably one of the wittiest, funniest dudes that I know. And he comes through with his YouTube videos very outworth with 
with if that is that a word with information to show like he knows what he's talking about in this topic but he always fits in these tiny little jabs that are so hard to catch that are just so funny for a cut and now it's time to go to lieutenant surge's gym the guide recommends that i use ground types as they are super effective against electric you don't have a ground Pokemon. type but since I don't have any, I just rely on Hawk for most of this gym. Who's Hawk? I don't know why the guy didn't suggest I go through Diglett's cave before the gym to catch yeah. a Diglett, which happens to be a ground type. That's Hawk. For this gym and collect some of the items in Route 2 that'll help me out later. But since I'm trying to pretend like I've never played these games before, wild I animation for Shockwave. first as the guide suggests. I buy some Man, paralyzed heal. I'm, it always confuses me why electric types aren't weak to fighting. Because I grew up playing the card game where pretty much every electric type is weak to fighting. Because fighting is fighting type, rock type, and ground type all together in the card game. But like a Hitmonchan will hit a Voltorb for weakness in the card game. It's messed me up. Those so those bad. As well. And aside from getting paralyzed and double teamed so much, the gym really wasn't that bad. Nice. Now at this point, the guide gets a little confusing for uh -oh. me. It says that on Route 11, east of Vermilion City, I should go left and enter the Pokemon Center to heal, then go around the bend into Rock Tunnel. Rock Tunnel isn't on this route though, so yeah. I think that the guide got confused with Route 9, which the guide tells me to go to at the end of the section about Lieutenant Surge's battle. Okay. Turns out the tip that they have on the page about Route 9 is the same exact tip they had on Route 11 telling me to go around the bend, but it also tells me to teach Flash to one of the Pokemon on my team since I needed to get through the rock tunnel much easier. Imagine teaching There's only one Flash. issue with that though. I don't have Flash yet. The guide oh. also didn't tell me anywhere as of yet where to get Flash. I know it's near the other side of the Diglett's Cave on Route 2, which Is the it? guide said was optional, I've always by played the way. this without Flash. But if someone has never played these games before, I can see them getting stuck at this point, especially yeah. if it was 2004 and well, they you have a map up online as easily as they could today. Like, the map helps. Luckily, in the appendix at the end of the guide, it does tell me that I could find Flash on Route 2, and since I now have access to Cut, I can access it This would have been a better thing. Why, why did they advertise berries when they could be like all moves located what pretty enforced they really should have put more of an emphasis on backtracking True. to get flash in the actual Doesn't walk this guy give you like it would have been amazing if they said hey the before battling surge no. go through the diglett's tunnel you could possibly catch a diglett here which is good against the planet surge and oh by the way on the other side you get flash which you need to progress in the game i end up going back and getting it anyway and i had to catch oh, a few more pokemon flash. for the age to give to me Never as mind. i needed I'm 10 one of which was a drowsy I named Cletus, since I can teach it Flash. I don't know why I picked the name Cletus, it just seemed really fitting at the time. Headed into yeah, Rock's Tunnel, ask, and either like this map is terrible or I have no idea how to read a map. Most likely the latter, but I couldn't figure out where I entered from. Turns out I actually entered on this ladder on the part of the map that's labeled Does the not exit you? level, not the entrance level. And there's only two levels that you switch between. I get what? out as quickly as I can and get to Lavender Town after staring at the map for a good five minutes or so <laughs> trying to figure out exactly where I was. But the guide tells me to ignore Lavender Town for now and head west to Route 18 so I can get to Celadon City. There's quite okay. a lot to do in Celadon City True. now. Like get this free Eevee or steal it because this guy's kind of just staying Wait, there unless we take it. I don't really know why that happens. I immediately get a water stone as oh, well I'm involved this. with a Porygon since I don't have a water type yet and I nice. know I'm going to need Surf somewhere down the road. I also get the coin case and gamble like the guy tells me to. Although yes! I don't really need to gamble the at all to progress in the game. I give Pokemon the Grand Tom department game. store some drinks as well in hopes of getting a good TM like Ice Beam for my new Vaporeon as Wait, the guy says I could get Ice you can Beam. Give I need the pouring on joey by the way i thought you only could give her one drink you're telling me there it's like a loot box i could just be spending money on what bro pokemon bring back loot boxes i but i don't, get I don't any care if i have to spend a hundred dollars so joey is just stuck knowing water pulse for now now i head uh, to the game corner and start no the first about that. big team rocket event I talk to the grunt in front of the poster, beat them, and then notice an interesting note in this guide as I head down Wait, to what? the hideout. I thought he was it talking says, about the wall. There are no random encounters in the Team Rocket hideout, so all fights are at your own discretion, in parentheses, where possible. Which literally translates to all of the fights are optional except for the ones that are not. Thank you, Nintendo. <laughs> I make it through the Rocket hideout pretty easily well and prepare said, for my Giovanni Nintendo. fight. My Pokemon are all level 25 plus like the guide suggests, but it warns me about Giovanni's Kangaskhan of all Pokemon. 
I have hey a man, Kangas got time at the start scary. of the battle, which makes me realize that these older Pokemon games really aren't any harder than newer games as people say. But yeah. the Kangaskhan does give me a bit of trouble. I thought Hawk Platinum, being a fighting type would one shot, but nope, Hawk got one shot hard. instead. The guy tells me to start hammering away hammering anyway. away. I still don't know why it keeps saying that for nearly every important battle, but I'm able to do it <laughs> to beat Giovanni and get the Silscope so we can head back to Lavender Town. Now before heading to Lavender Town, we have to collect the fourth gym badge from Erica first. Okay, okay. Since I have Twitter, this is a breeze, and I lay down the law as the guy suggests. And hammer away! I head to Lavender Town now, and Pidgeotto this continues video to be the- is so well edited i mean listen i love pokemon series and i mean i kind of do that but just having the entire pokemon game with all the bs just cut out of it is so nice the hard he did such a good job with this game. video i dispatched my rival as the guy said and hammer away the guy using a different word other than hammer for once yeah and head up the tower i try <laughs> and catch the marwak at the top but learn the hard way that you can't do that apparently what? i didn't say anything about that and after that, I rescue Mr. Fuji, get the Pokey Flute, head south. Is that the Mandela effect? Comment below if you thought you could catch that Marowak. Because I thought you could catch that Marowak. To go towards Fuchsia City, wake up the Snorlax, kill it because I don't care about catching it, and continue wow. heading south. The guide completely ignores Cycling Road at this point, and looking ahead, I still don't see anything about Cycling, Cycling Road, Road and the guide, which is a much easier way to get to Fuchsia City. But oh, it does tell I know me to go cycling behind road Cycling Road where you can get Fly, which yep. I immediately teach to Twitter, which also evolved the Pidgeot. I think it would have made way more sense to have me go down Cycling Road since yeah. it's quicker, easier, and there's trainers like a battle there as well, but we do exactly as the guide suggests. I like to go to the right road. side though. Now that I'm in Fuchsia City, the guide wants me to battle Koga straight away. It suggests that I level up my Pokemon to be between levels 35 and 37, so I do that for okay. everyone except for Hawk, since I don't really think Hawk will be too useful against a poison type gym. It also suggests that I use Pokemon good against That's the poison gym? Poison types, like psychic types, what? and Oh, fire it's the and Crobat types, one! Apparently. I'm so dumb! Even though those last two types aren't even super effective against poison. I start the battle with Koga, and let's have a little fun and guess what the guy tells me to do against Koga. Use Doesn't rock tell me types! To a. Dispatch him. B. Lay down the law. Or C. Hammer away! T. Hammer away. Woo! The guide also <laughs> suggests that I use poison type Pokemon against Koga's poison types, especially his muck, so I don't get Why? toxic because it's a very bad form of poison. Now, while this would get around being poisoned from toxic, Not it doesn't effective. help that Venusaur, my only poison type, and most poison types in general, can't really do much to other poison types like yeah. Koga's muck. Since the guy tells me to do this, I do it anyway, even though using Pidgeot is clearly the oh, better option seed. for this battle. I stall with Leech Seed on Venusaur anyway, and get through the gym pretty easily, although it does take quite a few turns. Yeah. After getting the fifth badge, I head into the Safari Zone to collect Surf I kind of wanted to know team, what the guy would have said how to get through the Invisible Barriers. For no reason, which I'll probably never use, and that pretty much wraps up everything we need to do in Fuchsia City for now. I hate The guy tells me to head back here. to Celadon City to get the tea from this lady so I can give it to the guards and then pass into Saffron City. It probably would have made more sense to, tell gonna me get to the do gold this when I first got to sell it on, but that really isn't that big of a deal. The first thing the guy tells us to do here is to take on the mini gym, aka the fighting dojo. Oh yeah, Pidgeot and Vaporeon. You gotta get Hitmonchan easy, here. And at the end, I'm rewarded between the choices of one of two Pokemon. Hit the options Mon are Hitmonchan, Hit one of Mon the coolest Chan. Pokemon in existence, and Hitmonlee, a cool Pokemon, but not nearly as cool as Hit Papa C and I are best friends, Nan. Hitmonchan is one of my favorite Pokemon in existence. I had no clue he felt the same way. Hitmonchan, so I pick Hitmonchan, of course, and name it Jackie. That's me! Silk Toe, <laughs> and luckily the guide has a cheat sheet for us that allows us to get through it rather quickly while ignoring most of the trainers. Towards the end, we have a rival fight, and all the guy does is trash my rival saying how this fight should be so easy. It even uh -huh. goes in on his execute and a little bit on his Growlithe for some reason, saying, quote, execute is well, a sad joke. Oh my and god, it it's my Twitch chat. Four, it needs its head <laughs> examined. Pretty much the same goes for Growlithe though. It can be tricky against your grass type Pokemon, so watch it. Not sure what whoever wrote Very this has against Execute and Growlithe, <laughs> but the rival battle was pretty easy and wasn't much of a threat. After the battle, this I speak to this chap, guidebook. as the guide calls them, to get this Lapras, then and proceed into the away. next room where Giovanni is waiting for us. The guide says how this fight isn't too bad, 
and how, quote, his Nidorino and Rhyhorn should go down fairly easily because their levels at this point are no match for a decent electric, water, or grass type. Seeing as I have a Vaporeon what? and a Venus, wait a second, did it say electric yeah, type? It did, Rhyhorn didn't it? Can't Against be a hit ground type like Rhyhorn? Yeah! I'll forgive this error since there hasn't been one in the sky for a little while, but I beat the first two Pokemon pretty easily. I hammer away at the yeah! canvas gun like hammer the guy away! suggests yet again, haven't heard that in a little while. Hammer away! And now it's time for Giovanni's Nidoqueen, <laughs> which is one of his strongest Pokemon as of right now. The guy proceeds to tell me that Nidoqueen is easily cooked with a fairly well-powered electric Pokemon, but I don't have this an electric type, like me. and again, Nidoqueen is a ground type, so electric types won't help at all. That's the second time in this section alone that it tells you to use an electric Doesn't type have against lightning the ground rod type. Too? I finish up with Giovanni's battle pretty easily regardless, get the Master Ball, and now we have to head to Sabrina's That's gym to rod. fight her. I get my Pokemon to around level 40 as the guide suggests, and follow the- Does the guide tell you which- teleports to go through map to sabrina through the teleporters oh. i thought it was funny how the i bet you i'm about to say another thing dumb and papa c is going to answer it with this sentence watch guide also suggests i destroy the trainers before sabrina the guide writer just getting more and more savage as we get on to the later half <laughs> of this game my vaporeon has bite so this gym really isn't too bad since it's mostly psychic types but it warns me about sabrina's alakazam it says is it's terrifying. fast, and many of its moves can lay waste to your intrepid band in two shakes of a lamb's tail. I have no idea what that what? means. What? But I get through this gym That's pretty easily. That's the most again. UK thing I've ever heard. They've said chap and lamb's tail. This, I, I bet you could Google it and find out who wrote this, this book. And head towards Pallet Town so I can surf south of Route 21 into Cinnabar Island. Now that we're in Cinnabar Island, the first event the guide wants me to do is revive my fossil, and I do that immediately, nice. but just put it in the box right away since it's only level uh, 5. I know oh, that I still I have this level 20. 5 Caterpie on my team that I've had since Viridian Forest and I've been using since Death Fodder, but since my team is really top-heavy between Pidgeot and Vaporeon, I see no reason to replace it or add a new team member as of Even right now. Repels. Now we head into the mansion to find the key to the gym since it's locked, and the guide does a pretty good job of guiding me across it. I got a Growlithe oh, and named nice. it Rover, and now since my Pokemon are all mostly above level 40, it means I'm ready to take on Blaine. I head in the gym, proceed to one-shot nearly everything with Vaporeon, only going Sick. back to heal because I ran out of Surf PP, and Vaporeon is awesome. also slowly overtaking Pidgeot as being the best Pokemon on my team. I defeat Blaine very easily, get the 7th gym badge, and there right after EVs Blaine, in this game? back to Viridian City to take on the 8th and final gym leader. It says that I should be at least level 45 at this point, and I'm close enough, so I go in there anyway. Okay. But it also warns me that Giovanni has a level 54 Nido King, which seems pretty scary because that's quite the level. Didn't it say to get? If I'm only supposed to be around level 45, does it not I have go through level this 54? pretty easily regardless. And notice that the Nido King is actually level 45, not 54, so it's just what? a typo. The guide really likes to make mistakes on Giovanni fights for some reason. Maybe I'm being overcritical since this is a 15 plus year old guide written by somebody who has probably played many other games and has written many other guides and can't know everything about every uh... game they play. But if I've never played Pokemon before and I follow this guide exactly, I'd definitely be confused or Why lost. Why is there Rhyhorn? Luckily, it doesn't tell ace. me his electric types against his ground types this Why? time. And continuing on with the fight, I also realized that I've swept pretty much every single gym very easily since Lieutenant Surge including this final gym, and I feel really good heading to the Elite Four for the okay. last stretch of this game. I stock up on some items before heading into Victory Road, but we have All another right. rival battle to take care of first. The guy doesn't say much about this fight, so I get through it pretty easily, but have to rely on stalling out the Gyarados with Toxic and Leech on my Venusaur since I can't really hit it too hard with anything else. You would have had a Gyarados if you bought the Magikarp! Away, as the guy suggests yet again for about the ninth time now, and it makes me wonder, <laughs> who even wrote this guy? They have such a different style of writing for a guide with words and phrases. Hey man, I don't I'm gonna be really saying hammer away now. Lot. And I'm sure that if they're involved with games media, they probably have a Twitter account or something. I notice on the very first page of the guide it has the name Eric ECM Milonas. It's funny because when I first played through Fire Red as a kid, I actually him? named my character Eric for no particular reason. My name's not even Eric. And now the person guiding us through Fire Red is named Eric. I look them up and the first result is an obituary. Hammer Eric unfortunately passed away in 2000. Looks like Eric was hammered away. In an 18 at the age of 43, and now I feel kind of bad. bad for making fun of this guide so much. Yeah. Looking at some of Eric's other work, they actually wrote a lot of other guides for a lot of games I remember from my childhood. 
Fire Red and Leaf Green, of course, but then there's other games like Spyro, Enter the Dragonfly, what? Sonic Advance Oh my 2, god, these Beyblade, are my favorite Beforce, games! And many I didn't of the know about Beyblade. Dragon Ball Z games. Eric has a lot of other works in games media as well, and after researching a bit about Eric, they've done a lot of interesting work. So for the rest of this run, I'm doing it for you, Eric. I get through oh, Victory yeah. Road pretty easily thanks to this cheat sheet Eric wrote for us in the guide. I catch an Onyx and- I wonder if Eric puts Hammered away in other guides. Has anyone looked up into that? I'm sure it's in the comment section. It's level 46, higher than some of my team members even, and I name it Rocky. I reach the end of Victory Road and decide to grind up a little bit to match some of the levels in the Elite Four. I level up all my Pokemon to around the early to mid 50s since I noticed that a lot of the Elite Four members have their Pokemon in the mid to late 50s. Okay. And now seems like a pretty good time to recap the team. First, we have Subscribe the Venus team Store, review. our star that has been with us from the very beginning. Then we have Twitter, the Pidgeot, the first Pokemon we ever caught, and the Pokemon that carries us through normal the type? part of the game. What? Then we have Hawk, the Primeape, which hasn't really been used much since the Koga yeah, fight, he got but should be pretty good in the Elite the Porion. Then we have Dan, the level 5 Caterpie that's been with us since Viridian Forest. <laughs> it know was level originally it level 3 when I caught it, and I didn't try to level it up, but somehow I sent it in just to get knocked out to get a free switch, went for a tackle, and somehow actually got a KO and got some levels, that's so that's funny. how it got to level 5. And I know I'll definitely need to send it out to die in the Elite Four to heal <laughs> oh, some of my no. other Pokemon. Then we have Joe the Vaporeon, which has been the best Pokemon on our team yep. as of lately. Black and finally glasses? we have the new guy, Rocky the Onyx. I step glasses. into the first room, and the Ice-type trainer Lorelei is waiting for us. I know Hawk should be pretty useful in this fight, so I lead with yeah. him and get a few nice KOs with my fighting-type attacks. Eventually, Hawk goes down, and this Jinx oh, he is has a pain, okay. just like Eric warned us about in the guide. I eventually hammer away at it with Vaporeon, and hammer now it's time away. to fight Bruno. I use Twitter to take care of Bruno's fighting types, then Venusaur and Vaporeon for the rest of his team as they're weak to grass and water, and, and he's get gonna through him hammer easily. away! And then we have Agatha. Arguably the hardest member of the Elite Four it's thanks fine. to her two Gengars. Cause you're just I got Earthquake to Onyx since Bruno's weak to ground and Gengars are poison. Thinking this would be a pretty easy fight, Ooh. but then I remembered that Gengar and Haunter have levitated in this generation, True. so I can't use ground type moves to knock them out, unfortunately. This fight really was a team effort with and everyone getting in on I the hate action, Iron but Tail luckily so Venusaur much. finishes off the final Gengar after a lot of my team members go down. I heal up and now it's time for Lance, the final okay. member of the Elite Four. Eric warns us about Lance's Hyper Beams, although it really isn't that strong of a move in this generation. Yeah. Lance has two Dragonairs, which Eric tells us to use electric moves on, despite them he... not being super Ooh. effective. Apparently everything leap. is weak to electric according to this guide. But Vaporeon did a pretty Doesn't good matter. job it's in the fight though, since it has a super type. effective move for everything on Lance's team except- That's one thing I always forget about these early games, is that the starter, all the evolution types and Dragon are special, and everything else is physical. I always forget that because it's just like ingrained at this point, you know, but R Razor Leaf is a special move here. For the Gyarados, which I again stall out with Venusaur. Nice. And now we have one final battle, a fight against How our rival, Pokemon? Nintendo. Well, actually his name is just Nintend without yeah. the O since the full name didn't fit. Not sure why I'm addressing this now, not at the start, because I'm sure <laughs> hey, I got you, Papa C. I got you. But the guy you. tells me that my rival's going to leave with Pidgeot, so I leave with Vaporeon to have a nice do? type move and take it out pretty easily, although Surf does, does more give than you a nice ice type move. The next key Pokemon go down Dang. pretty easily as well, but I have to stall out his Gyarados in the same way that I stalled out the one against Don't you have a Thunder move? And now, all that's left Dragon is Nintendo's Rage. Charizard. What? I decided to stay with my Venusaur, even though I'm not at full health, and try to finish this journey the way it began with our starters fighting, hammering nice. away at my enemy hammering for away! Final time, just like I suggested in the first rival battle. I select my move with Venusaur, but unfortunately Charizard You're goes dead. for Fire Blast <laughs> and takes me out You're very dead. easily, so I just send out Vaporeon and kill the Charizard instead. With and that's shot. it. We are now the champion, and we beat Fire Red and Leaf Green the way Nintendo intended, thanks Does to Eric and say his guy that Nintendo else? approved of over 15 years ago. Not gonna lie, I felt a little emotional at the end there. I didn't end up crying or anything like that, but I haven't played through a Pokemon game like that on my own Aww. without doing a Nuzlocke or any other type of challenge That's in same, a long man. time. And although this was all for a video, I think video, the last I time I played play was like own time four years ago. A week or so, and enjoyed playing it a lot. Finishing up this game this time felt a lot like when you spend all week binge watching a show you really like, and then you finally finish it and feel a little empty on the inside. Hunter X Hunter. I wonder if I can find my Pokemon emerald book and do this on my own time does papacy have he has hey. a ruby and sapphire one well hey 
Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Papa C, for letting me watch it. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to him, subscribe to him. And go watch his Emerald video because I'm going to do that right now.